Okay, cross watchers. So I'm not really sure how to do this. This is my first time like doing the cross watching thing. So like, give me, give me a little bit of a break here. So for those of you that are dealing with an Aries, okay, so you're watching for an Aries. Let's see how they feel about you, okay? For those dealing with an Aries, how does the Aries feel about this cross watcher? You might be hearing from them. There's some pretty heavy, heavy emotions here, but there is judgment being passed. So they see you as kind of toxic. If, if it's not toxic, they think you have some sort of addiction, okay? They don't like the, your lifestyle, and they do want some sort of change, okay? Will you be hearing from them? Yes. Do they want to reconnect? Yes and no. There's no clear answer. They do miss you, but they feel like they should move on from you. Okay, what is the outcome? What is the outcome for those watching for Aries? No, all the cards are in the reverse, guys. I don't see it working out. I do not see it working out, unfortunately. Anything else the cross watchers need to know about this Aries person? Anything else? Is there something they're hiding? If you were worried if they were cheating um, or if there was somebody from the past coming back in, that is not the case. They are not, you know, hooking up with anybody from the past or anything like that. Um, we have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. It, they're just they're just not trustworthy. I mean, they just don't trust people. They they are having issues. It's really not a you problem, okay? So we're going to move on to Taurus. So for those of you dealing with a Taurus, okay, how do they feel about my cross watchers? Those dealing with a Taurus, how do they feel? They're feeling very distant. They feel like they know something um, that you don't know. They do feel like there could be a third party situation. They don't want to move on with this. They are focused on other things so that they don't think about you. Definitely working on their income. They go from days of being very good to days of being very bad um, emotionally, okay? Why is the tower here? For those dealing with a Taurus. Okay, so they do feel like you've been messing around or that you had somebody on the side, whether or not you did, it doesn't matter, but they are going to find out the truth. And for those of you that were not messing around and this is just like made up in their head, they are going to deal with the guilt and the, and the pain of that. And for those of you that um, may have been messing around behind their back, uh, though it is coming out as you weren't, but like if you were, um, they might rethink that and be like okay maybe i jump to conclusions too quickly you know that kind of thing what is the outcome of those dealing with a taurus what is the outcome of those dealing with a taurus oh let that shit go guys <laughs> let it go let it go toxic codependent bullshit and a lot of drinking going on don't like it I feel like I feel like those dealing with the Taurus have a new person coming in right away, and they're coming up as a fire sign. Just FYI, okay. Um, those dealing with the Gemini, how does the Gemini feel about my cross watchers? Those dealing with a Gemini, the Gemini is really overthinking this. They are in the reverse. They're trying to hold back their feelings. They do not believe that there could be a fresh start. They do see you as else having some sort of form of addiction or they feel like you are the problem. Like definitely you're the problem. You are um, too codependent on them. They feel like they don't have a lot of options and they might be looking elsewhere already. Okay. What is the outcome for my cross watchers with the Gemini? 
is the outcome. You might get an offering, like a, a you know, um, phone call or text or something, some sort of emotional outburst from them, okay? Maybe when they're drunk or something like that. Um, they may tell you they want to drop the burden of this relationship. They they, they want to work on things. They want to, like, reconnect, okay? You might get that, but I'm getting the feeling this is half-assed. What is the outcome of this for the cross watchers watching Gemini? They're really, felt, they're really focused on themselves, okay? They really are. If you want to make it work, if you want to make it work, there's a possibility. But I don't see long-term change, okay? So if you guys want to work at this, sure, but I don't see long-term change. Okay, who? Cancer. For cancer, for those cross watching for cancer, how does cancer feel about you? How does cancer feel about the cross watcher? They find you very attractive. They are trying to manifest you back into their life. If they have had heartbreak, they've found like an outlet so that they could, you know, try to get over whatever happened between the two of you or whatever's going on between the two of you, but they are not looking for other options, okay? They think you have other options, and maybe you do. Yeah, they still want to work it out with you, okay? They do. They would fight for this. It, it would take some time. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for the cross watcher and uh, cross watchers and cancer? You guys could work it out. You could. It's gonna. Like I said, it's gonna take a lot of time, but you guys will have to get on the same page with what you want ultimately. Okay, you can't go at this like, you know, only pursuing it slightly. It has to be like all in or all out. Okay. What's after Cancer? Leo? Is it Leo, I think? Okay. For those cross-watching for Leo, how do they feel about you? Wow, those ducks are loud today. How does the Leo feel about you? Ooh, they're hiding something from you. They're, they've emotionally moved on. They don't want to even put in any effort here. They might be overspending in order to, like, deal with the situation. For some of you, they're already getting involved with somebody else. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? They're having a hard time moving on sexually from you, if it makes sense. Like, this next person probably doesn't have what they're looking for, but they are already moving on, okay? They're emotionally distant as well. What is the outcome of those watching for Leo? What is the outcome? They may try to, they may come back around after they're done with this other situation and the same, the same, the same crap would happen and you would end up alone. Yeah. And I really don't know. With all these wands here, I really don't. I wouldn't trust that there's not other people already in their sight, even if they come back um, after this situation. Okay. So what's after Leo? Virgo? Virgo. So for those of you watching for Virgo, how does the Virgo feel about you? How does the Virgo feel about you? I feel like they're trying to move on from you emotionally, okay? They feel some sort of imbalance and they feel like there's not a lot of change in your life. They also feel like you overspend. 
or that they have to come to your aid too often. I, they still miss you though. Keeper go. They feel like there's no options with you, like there's no way of working this out, okay? What is the um, end result of Virgo and the Crosswashers? What's the end result? Not a damn thing. Nothing, it's over. Okay. What's after Virgo? Libra? Is it Libra, I think? <laughs> for those of you cross-watching for Libra. And then I'm going to end it, and, and I'll do the, the rest later. How does the Libra feel about you? How does the Libra feel about you? They like for things to work out. They find you very attractive. They're very interested in you. They are still recovering for something that happened in the past. They do have trust for you. They actually do trust you, okay? They'd like to see something grow. Um, you may be hearing from them. They want it to be very mutual, just an FYI. They would like a relationship with you. What is the, what is the end result of those dealing with a Libra? What is the end result of those dealing with a Libra? Ugh. This Libra will be approached by somebody else, and then they will have a hard time deciding where they want to invest. Okay? All right. So I will get the rest of them up later.